What causes a low anion gap? Have you ever wondered what a low anion gap means and why it matters in critical care medicine? Understanding this concept can be essential for first responders and healthcare providers. The anion gap is a calculated value that helps assess the balance of positively charged ions and negatively charged ions in the blood. It plays a significant role in diagnosing and managing acid-base imbalances. To calculate the anion gap, you use the formula. Anion gap equals sodium minus the sum of chloride and bicarbonate. Normal values typically range from 3 to 12 millimoles per liter, but this can vary slightly between different laboratories. Now, let's get into what causes a low anion gap, which is generally defined as a value below 3 millimoles per liter. This condition is relatively rare and can arise from several factors. One common cause is hypoalbuminemia, which refers to low levels of albumin in the blood. Albumin is a negatively charged protein that acts as an unmeasured anion. When albumin levels drop, it can lead to a decrease in the anion gap. This can happen due to liver disease, kidney disease, malnutrition, or severe burns. Another reason for a low anion gap could be testing errors. Sometimes, mistakes during sample collection, storage, or testing can result in a falsely low reading. It's a good practice to repeat the test if a low anion gap is suspected to confirm the results. High levels of positively charged ions can also contribute to a low anion gap. For instance, lithium toxicity can lead to this condition. When lithium levels in the blood rise, it can lower the anion gap significantly. Bromide intoxication is another factor that can interfere with chloride measurements, leading to a falsely low anion gap. This is important to consider, especially in emergency situations. Additionally, conditions like multiple myeloma can increase the levels of positively charged proteins in the blood, which can also reduce the anion gap. In critical care settings, recognizing a low anion gap can be challenging due to its rarity and the potential for laboratory errors. First responders should ensure that blood samples are collected and stored properly to avoid any pre-analytical mistakes. If a low anion gap is indicated, repeating the test is advisable to rule out any laboratory errors. Identifying and treating the underlying cause such as hypoalbuminemia or lithium toxicity, is vital for effective patient management. Communication with healthcare teams is also essential. First responders should relay any concerns about a low anion gap to the receiving medical staff to ensure appropriate follow-up and management. Understanding the causes and implications of a low anion gap can help first responders provide better initial care and facilitate smoother transitions to hospital settings.